The purpose of this video is to help you develop a critical eye for common form design mistakes so that you don't make them yourself. Let's do a quick quiz to see how good you are at identifying common mistakes in web forms. This form is really well designed. There's only one small problem that I was able to see. If you need a hint, it's in this section. If you notice that this input is not 44 pixels tall, then you would be correct. Another well-designed form, but it does have one small problem. Can you see it? If you need a hint, it's in this section. There needs to be one space between each of the radio buttons and the related text. It just looks nicer. Do you see the proximity problem in this form? Actually, it's showing up in two different places. The space between the user instructions and the input needs to be changed like this, so they are visually related together. Also, the horizontal space needs to be changed, so the radio buttons are closer to the related text, as shown on the right. See if you can identify three opportunities for improvement in this form. One is here in the general area. The first is proximity, as we discussed in the previous slide. The user instructions need to be visually closer to the input. The second one is that the radio buttons should be stacked, not presented horizontally. This keeps the eye tracking in line, as well as clearly associating each circle with the correct text option. The third opportunity for improvement is the name of the Submit button. Submit does not describe what the user will get when they click it. Please don't ever use the word Submit. In this form, you can see two opportunities for improvement. If you need a hint, both are found in this area. The Select Region button is not 44 pixels tall as it should be. Also, there is too much space between these three radio buttons. They're actually related together, and they need to be visually grouped together. Here's what it could look like with these two changes. See if you can see the problems with these two forms. Actually, I didn't see any. They're both really well designed. There is a slight difference with the slider. The one on the left is on the same line as the user instructions, while the one on the right is presented below the user instructions. I like the one on the right just a bit better. Which one do you like? I hope this video has been helpful in helping you identify some of the common form design mistakes so that as you build your form, you don't make these same mistakes yourself.